Yeah, I'm sure they'll recommend turning off cheat mode because that's probably doing all that stuff. Now, let's see. It was they knows. And not because, you know, it creates for illegitimate gameplay or anything. I I'm sure you lost 33 subscribers over the fact that you cheesed that orc warlord in that game. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, fair and square. I just had to find his ass. So much of this game is the anticipation and the mystery and the exploration. And falling into water. Uh, all right, sir. I require a room. A room, sir. Yes. At least you look like you belong here. You can even practice your magic before you go to sleep. Oh, yeah. It's a good idea. Let's see. I will do a bit of floating, I think. Up. Okay, let's see how this works. I've never floated before. We. Though I really don't think you can really practice your magic skills since you can pretty much only cast your spells like one time. I was going to say, how the hell do I go down? <laughs> <laughs> well, you need to look at your control scheme for that. Well, let's see. <laughs> down? Float down. Page down? Are you... <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, it seems legit to me. Hmm... Okay, well, that was fun. Now let's rest. I really think to build up the magic skills, you just have to fucking train them in the uh, the mages' guild. Because uh, you getting, like, one casting for eight hours is... Uh, not exactly is not effective. Happen. Nope. Either that or you'll have to make very cheap training spells. Oh my god, I can actually see. This is the first time we've been here during, like, a time that wasn't dusk or fucking midnight. That is factually incorrect, but, you know, it's a tendency of the human brain to only remember the bad moments. Okay. I was gonna say, I can tell the water from the land, so, I mean, that's a pretty big thing for me. <laughs> Maybe it's because you turned off cheat mode. <laughs> yeah. Ah, here we go. A thin rail of a woman steps forward and hands you a note. She turns aside all your questions with a gaunt, expressionless face. That's... that's interesting. See, dear Lethal, you are interested in learning the truth about Prince Lestan? Meet me at the King's Ferry in the restless mug... Wait, what? It's a place inside a ta tavern? What? Okay, so at the King's Ferry... Oh, I see. This whole thing is its name. The King's Ferry in Restless Mug Tavern in Set. Unsigned. Okay. That is a hell of a name on that tavern. You no, see. So, no, the King's Ferry... You see, uh, whenever you go to the world map, you'll notice that there's... Uh, Dungeons, homes, temples, and towns. I'm I'm thinking that uh, that uh, you're gonna have to search for one of those two locations. Okay. I, I I think the King's Ferry is the name of the tavern, and the second location it gave you is like the name of the town that it's in. You know, King's Fair's got to be the town unless the town is named The Restless Mug. <laughs> I, I I think search for Restless Mug in Sentinel. Okay. Well, there you go. Restless Mug Tab. <laughs> you did tell me I'm the reluctant sage of Daggerfall. Of course, we come here at night because I never travel cautiously. So again, now this thing it should only just be like a tiny little hamlet devoted to this tavern, which is what you're looking for. Well, there you go. Nickly, it's a tavern, so it's open all night. Of course, now you're looking for a quest person who is not that kid. 
kid, why couldn't you be a quest person? You are not quest people. Because all of my stuck on an organ. Hey, kid. Got a closet full of wine and whatnot. Don't mind me. I'll pay, I'll probably pay for a room. Maybe. If you're lucky. I mean, I don't think you did create an anchor, so whatever. Yep. You might. You, I, you don't have to stay the night because you didn't create an anchor. Are you quest people? You are quest people. Lethal flailfish. Shh. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> Lethal flailfish. Shh. I would prefer that nobody sees me talking to you because no one likes you. It has come to my attention that the Underking is being wrongly accused of abducting the prince. Therefore, uh, before you judge, check into the fortress of Fojum. <laughs> I'll mark it on your map. Who am I? Just call me a loyal servant. Just move away from anyone. <laughs> move away before anyone gets suspicious. Go on, scrap. The fortress of Wargarble? That's a dungeon. At least it's not a random one, right? I actually don't mind dungeons if they're not random. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. He says that, urging me to go in when he knows. He knows. Alright. Back on to the road. On the road again. Dun, 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 dun. I was gonna say... Just can't wait to get fucked by this game again. <laughs> uh, what was it? The Fortress of Fajun. Donde esta the Fortress of Fajun? Fortress of... That. <laughs> it's round the horn again. Uh, sure. It's around the horn. It's raining again in the desert. Nice. I cannot see jack shit. Is that a thing? I must have fucked up. Again. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Did you? So, yeah, it's, it's pivotal to travel straight ahead. But it also helps, you know, if you arrive at a time where it's not dark as fuck and raining. For some reason, I always have that problem. We're just gonna move straight forward. That looks like a thing. I don't looks know like if a tree truck and a door will be embedded in the base of it. I'm pretty sure. There it is, just like the sage says, folks. And here we go. I was gonna say, Grubf. <laughs> We haven't gone on that one. Eh, we'll do on the what? What? That's an interesting sound. Hey, I know you. I've killed a few in you in my time. You almost forget how fast those limbs go when they attack. What the hell is that? It almost looks like an orc, but it's the wrong color. No, oh. it's definitely an orc sergeant. It's just his hat. His hat looked weird. Ooh. A mithril battle axe. Fancy. And that's the only fancy thing he had. Of course. Not anything you can equip. Check around that campfire area. I, just, I thought there might be something. That's all. What do I know? I was gonna say a lot of things. I don't see any secret bullshit. Uh, it's fine. Okay. I was gonna say I hear what sounds like pigs. It's a weird sound I've never heard before in a dungeon. Now you've got me suspicious. Those are pigs. You don't fight pigs in this game, silly people. Okay, we'll go this way. Unless you count the werebores. They're kind of pigs, yeah. A little bit. Okay, I remember this module. This is the grizzly bear module. Or kind of, anyway. Hey, it monster. might be reskinned a different color, but you can still make it out. Do you have any... He has a mithril mace. 
And that is iron, I thought so. You're at the point where you're finding be better stuff, particularly since, you know, your luck isn't that bad. Unlike your character, of course, because in tradition, they never have good luck. That, that's pretty much how I feel about any of the characters I play in these RPGs. Like, I mean, you're sure he survived the storm that put him in Privateer's home, but was that really a better thing for him <laughs> or worse? That's why I have only average luck, also because I don't have the points to put into it. Is that silver? Sure is. The pigs are getting louder down here. That's not big. Oh my Jesus. That Perhaps there's a whole bay full of them. I'm not even sure what that is. That's a werewolf. It's a lycanthrope. I see. One of two varieties, werewolves and werebores. What about you, sir? We just have a knight hanging out. Are you going to do anything about that? No? Werebores are more common than werewolves. But in the coolness factor... I don't know. I think the wolf wears out. Wins out. It was a werewolf. Oh. It, I suppose I couldn't check that well. Well, no. I did tell you there's lots of squealing, and there definitely is. Yeah. Oh, well. I'll just, get up for it. Just like with uh, werewolves, folks. Whenever you get attacked by a... By a werebore or by a werewolf, you have a slight chance of picking up their disease. There is a slight chance of picking up lycanthropic. And they have some very interesting uh, requirements. They actually have to eat innocent people. Which, you know, for me, wouldn't be a big deal considering that I'm killing them anyway. Say, so, uh, unless you have Hecate's Ring, which I actually got in that danger quest to go back to Privateer's home. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> but, uh, I never turned into a lycanthrope like some people wanted. I didn't want, I didn't feel like showing that off. Well, I mean, it does have some significant advantages, and maybe that just makes the game too easy. Oh, holy shitballs! I can't move. It does look like you have tusks also, so... Yeah, you are a werebore. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. What you got? Got anything? Nope. No treasure. I would like some treasure, please. Yeah, that's pretty good pathfinding if you could find me down here. I've been More down lucky. No, this is a new area, kind of. Ah, uh, this is the grizzly bear room. Sorry, I had to click on that. I almost looked suspicious. There it is. I was like, where's the way up? Oh, You're well. just not used to all these tile sets, lethal. I know, right? They're squishing it up on me. We are just have no fucking problem mowing down everything in sight. Level 6, uh... I was actually looking to see where my... Oh. Oh, I leveled up. I was like, why can't I look at my primary skills? Surprise level, folks. I said surprise today. level. My god. Okay, now that I've done that, I can exit and actually look at my hand to hand. 7 to 13. We're at 61 hand to hand. Doing a good job. I mean, you know, actual weapons deal more damage, but you, uh, you circumvent the material requirement and you attack very quickly. Yeah, the, the attack speed is just fucking ridiculous. Consequently, your DPS is pretty goddamn high, even though your weapon's not so strong, because you unleash numerous attacks. There's, and that's really the strategy I was going with. I mean, we have so many chances for critical strike, even though my luck's not that high. This looks important. You just stand there. I no. I you ruined everything. Ruined it. Ruined. You ruined this magical moment we could have had together. I could have punched you in the back of the head and it would have been awesome. 
A war axe. My god. I'm gonna get weighed down by gold soon enough. Are you a thing? Axes made out of war. War axes. Let's go. Hey, to tell you the truth, I'm all, why are we here again? We're looking for something. Uh, let's see. Just check it out. Okay. Am I gonna, like, find his corpse and it's trying to kill me? I can't remember exactly. Just check it out. This looks suspicious. Pfft, but of course it ain't. <laughs> it's just a candle hanging at the end of a room, everyone. Ah, damn it. Well, it's one dead end. No, you're like, what the fuck do I do with this? I was gonna say, we've been all these ways before. We've been here. Hmm. <laughs> We're really that close to the entrance? Wow. Okay, so where haven't we been? Here we go again, folks. Oh, the excitement. Okay, there's a couple of doors over there I haven't been in. Unless I just haven't gone down far enough. No, haven't been in those rooms. All right, turn my ass around. No. Oh, there's a door right here. I'll actually specify what you're actually looking for is a piece of parchment on the ground. I see. They'll It'll be in one of the quest locations. Of course. So yeah, this isn't an entirely like hand-picked, like custom-made thing. What it is is this quest is chosen to be from either one of two dungeons. And they're randomized, or are they designed? Oh, I I, I don't know. <laughs> it's possible it could be a mixture of both. But uh, the, the piece of parchment will be on the ground in one of the quest locations and this dungeon. Fantastic. Which is why I, I asked you to like, go back to that campsite. Like, uh, I'm pretty sure I went to the same dungeon and the piece of parchment was right there. That campsite. <laughs> of course. So I just grabbed it and I fucking left. <laughs> oh, this fucking game. I don't think... No, I have been down there. There's a place I haven't been. Yeah, you actually have to look out for the ground. For just, like, some random piece of parchment floating. I'm glad you told me about that, because there's a good chance I would never have found it. You'd just be too busy fucking running around like, what am I looking for? <laughs> I know, right? They just told me to check out this place. They didn't tell me what to look for in this place. <laughs> just check it out. Could have something really neat in it. You're like, what the fuck does that mean? Okay, I hear a werewolf. Ah, here we go. This looks familiar. Yeah, we've been here. For a second there, I thought those were things, but they're just cracks. Okay, we have definitely been up here. Hey, crackers a thing, okay? Mm. No, 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 no. No. Okay, that's the grizzly bear room. Okay, turn my ass around, hold right, and then at the bend, it looks like there's something right there. Hmm. Must be this. Although I remember being in this area. Ah, damn this game. Parchment. <laughs> Parchment. At least I think. <laughs> it's, it's it's gonna be parchment on the ground. Oh, I hope you're right. It's possible I may be mistaken. Just be careful here and just look at everything. Consider what Grimoth is telling us here. Yeah. I guess that's just a weird vertice there. Only made to confuse me. Like all things. Yep, Daggerfall again, made for the express purpose of pissing Lethal off. And pretty much everyone else who plays it. You know, this dungeon doesn't look so big, but I must be missing something here. It's, it's not as big as the last dungeon you were in. Because, I mean, I was... I 
we must have, like, ran past it, like we were talking about. I say we when it's, you know, solely me, but still, come on. Yep, not my problem. I'm just trying to spread the blame. Okay, let's You can go. spread it all you want. Not my problem. Go ahead and rest. Nothing in the cart? Nope. Hmm. Now you got me looking in every fucking nook and cranny because this thing could just be hiding out. And I know you know what these quest locations look like. I don't know what I'm looking for. But you have no fucking idea what the quest locations look like. I don't like you. You're too suspicious. <laughs> Lethal begins talking to a candle. Well, it is. I mean, it's sitting in a room all by itself, plotting. Did you have something in here? I mean, this looks like a plot location. I looked on your corpse, though, and I didn't see anything. Or a plot location, a quest location. Nothing in the water, right? Haven't seen any loot piles either at all. So it wouldn't it just be the ship it was right here? I was Did you manage to somehow miss it? Yeah. Okay, let me check this room again. The rooms again. We I'm sure this is real exciting, folks. It was fun before when I was just punching orcs, but now Whoop, no, don't wait. I actually want you to put your fist away for now so we can see more of the screen. Just for a moment. And I'm sure this is where I just was. Just want to make sure. Okay, it was. You don't backtrack, Lethal. What are you talking about? Oh man, these places are just so... So, I don't want to say they look exactly the same on all sides, because they don't, but... They're just close enough that it's confusing to me. There's nothing so vibrant enough that it actually stands out from the surrounding environments. Yeah, there's no... Like this. I can remember this. I know I've been here before. There's not a whole lot of landmarks. Yeah, this is the... The bear room. I think sometimes that's a quest location, maybe? I have no idea. I have no fucking idea. Poor Lethal has no fucking idea. Again, I hear things nearby. Must be down. I'm gonna say there's something over there. No, it's just one of those. Yeah, I think I'm making headway, and it's just that I'm on the freaking right Z level, just like you were saying before. Why do you even have that view? Yeah, yeah, we've been here before. Ah, the rib cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, folks, I hope you're enjoying me running around this goddamn place. I know I've already said this shit. <laughs> lethal, lethal. He's our man. If he can't do it, we're gonna get fucked. I know. If we don't find the uh, the secret history of Lestan, I mean, who is? You? No. I'm gonna run my ass in here again. Oh, God damn it! This is why I don't run around caves in real life. Because I'd never get out. <laughs> is that the reason you're not a spelunker? Yep. Because I'd die <laughs> just getting stuck. <laughs> I'd starve. I suppose that's a fair enough reason, Lethal. 
I mean, there's lots of ways you can die in a cave, but getting stuck... Well, at least in real life you can leave breadcrumbs, I guess. There's yes, for them to be swept away by the elements. Good idea. Watch that sound again. See, he's teasing me. So I know where it is. I'm not telling. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Z levels, don't you fuck with me. It sure as fuck looks like there should be more there. Oh no. Yeah, it definitely does, but I mean, how could I have gone through there without going through there? Oh goodness, folks. I'm giving you the authentic Daggerfall experience, at least for someone who's not goddamn sage in this game. <laughs> Come on, the dungeon's not that big, Lethal. What the hell? I'm sorry. I don't know where this parchment is. Things are squealing at me. I just don't know, Grimoth. <laughs> well, if they're squealing at you, then that means there are locales you are, have not yet ventured to yet. Come on. I know they're close. I just can't find them. I can hear it like it's right up there. Ah, aha. Progress. I was going to say, he's going to open to just like a room that has jack shit. Of course, Lethal. I heard you purring. I suppose spiders would be uh, jack shit. I'm going to kick your ass. Mm -hmm. oh, maybe click on the cage just to be sure. <laughs> the damnedest things will be switches. I remember something like that. Usually it's candles or skulls. Just in case. I hear things opening. What you doing? You? Don't you be opening things. Don't you be alerted to my presence, damn it. Cheating. I... I think that's a werewolf I hear off in the distance. Ooh, a dwarven dagger. Go ahead and take that. What else you got in there? Is that anything special? Not steel. Gold pieces. <laughs> steel greaves, steel arm, or <laughs> pauldrons. Steel armdrons. Armdrons? What the hell, lethal? Don't you open that door and try to shoot me? Gee. I, I want to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to shoot you. I don't care whether I'm dead. I'm going to shoot you. You are full of gold. So much gold. <laughs> All right. All right. Don't you be insulting me. I'm going to shoot you. Well, here's a plot location I know for sure. The church, right? Pew, pew. And of course, I had Jack squatting it. Maybe it's somewhere in the rafters somewhere. Who knows? No, it's off there. Although there are rafters. I didn't even notice that until now. Bam, just blew your mind. I hear purring. You're back there. It's probably not anything. Nothing to worry about. Nope. That's what they said. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, what's this? They're like cooing like little gentle birds. What the hell? I know. They're adorable. I don't think that's how that works, Lethal. Oh, my goodness. How many of you are in here? Are numbers really important in the grand scheme oh. of things? Okay. Okay. I knew there was another one of you in here. There's too much noise. Okay. Looking for things. Here's a loot pile. With gold. Lots of gold. Jesus, game, you're just throwing it at me now. Nothing in there. Anybody? Nope. Oh. 
Oh my god. <laughs> this small dungeon continues to get larger. Oh, I have time to go into command mode. <laughs> or in the interaction mode. Uh, oh my goodness. There you are. I heard you burn. You're the one. Okay. This certainly looks important. I wonder what they were doing here. Oh. An orc. Silly orc bitch. Oh. You little cheater. She hit me through the fucking door. Cheating didn't save you. Nope. And what you got? I thought that was an elven flail, although I can't hold any more of that bullshit, so well. Uh... It's probably not important. Nope. I can't oh. even carry any more gold now. <laughs> oh, piece of parchment. If I were you, where would I be? Make sure it's not on the floor. I'm not missing anything. Okay. Of course, you get lucky on this. Though, you know, the one person who gets lucky is the guy with luck is his dumpstad, right? Fantastic. I mean, you know, every little bit helps. You know, there was this whole buildup. I didn't want to be in here. I didn't want to have to go wander around. I was sick of random Daggerfall dungeons. Go in, grab the parts, and go, oh, well, that was easy. Just leave. It was a good time, people. Really. Oh, yeah. How are you stuck in a wall? That's almost adorable. <laughs> Raising your axe, aren't you cute? I was able to pick up that gold, of course. You didn't allow him to shave his question for later, Lethal. To shave it for later? He should have shaved it for later. Uh, like I said, you didn't let him, you killed him. <laughs> of course, while I'm seeing at the base of this, the ball. Did I come upstairs? Or did I come down a ramp? I honestly don't fucking know what the shit I'm doing. Well, that's... That's nothing new. <laughs> I know, right? You have to capture the accurate sensation of playing around in a Daggerfall dungeon, Lethal. Well, I think it's been done. <laughs> this is the second occasion that we've done this. Well, how the fucking will you? You know what, Griffith? Both of those paths converge, because this is the ramp I just fucking came down. What does it all mean? It means I'm losing my mind in Daggerfall, just like anyone else who probably played this fine game. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well... Yeah, that is a thing. I guess. Go ahead and go down so I can actually see where I'm going. Now, you can't bullshit me, game. I know I've been that way. Yeah, see? <laughs> you can't bullshit a bullshitter, son. Come on. Apparently, they're doing a good job of it. I will not deny that. <laughs> So despite everything you say to the contrary, no, no, no I, I think they're doing all right. Hmm. Been there, been there. <laughs> I'm just looking for like one little piece, one little piece. Where have I not been? They don't make it easy. I mean, I'm looking for a door, a secret door. Where are you? That's a trap room, yeah. Hmm. Oh, the excitement. And now I've lost myself. Sometimes it just feels like the map's all, nope, you're done. You've been looking at this too long, you just need to find it. That was one of those times. <laughs> that that, that, that's the clear solution. You've obviously been staring at the situation for too long and clearly overcomplicating it. If you would merely analyze it with a set of fresh eyes, oh my god. Okay, I, 
actually think I see where we need to go, maybe. Uh, Cause it looks like right here, there's a place we haven't been. No. Oh God. <laughs> you could spend so much time just looking at the map on this game and not make any fucking headway. Although that's really all you can do. You're like, have I really been here? Have I not actually been here? How much have I really explored? No, it's more like, like, is this a door or is it just bad rendering on the map? Like, I know I've been in here, clearly. Uh, let's see, we, let's backtrack because I think I've explored all the little nuances in this place. Let's see. Oh, yes, you're the torch room, of course. No secret rooms in here, right? No? There appears to be something at the bottom, perhaps. It's totally probably nothing at all, I'm sure. There we go. Oh, you... Oh. <laughs> of course, I fucking got tired. <laughs> Because that's never happened or anything. Well, that's the first time it's happened in the game that I remember anyway, right? Oh, I hear you purred. Like so many others. Your purring will not save you. You're not that cute. Now, if you had a parchment and you brought it to me while you were cooing like that, I probably wouldn't kill you. I remember there's a hallway I haven't been t through back there. But maybe, just maybe, we can get lucky. Are you a trick skull? Hmm? Nope. You're a dick skull. Although, I guess that doesn't open up more possibilities for us, so I guess that's kind of good. That's a weird freaking torch to sit in the middle of nowhere. Hey, this looks like a thing. <gasps> My god! <laughs> it's a piece of paper. You cannot lift this. <laughs> of course I can't fucking lift this. Get out, damn it. Pick it up. You pick up a death certificate. My fucking god. Jesus! 23 Morningstar, 3E400, the Fortress of Fojum. Two days I was sealed within this crypt, without food or water. I do not know whether hunger or poor health, or one of the creatures who share this dank hole with me will kill me first. Yeah, no kin, buddy. I only know that I will soon be dead, and not even my bones will remain. Well, it's true, I don't see him in this room. My hope is that in years to come, this letter will be read. The, the sad story of Lestan, Prince of Sentinel, will be told. I'm 15 years old at the time of this writing, poor bastard, and have been plagued by bad health for most of my life, to the fr frustration of my hardy parents. The finest healers and apothecaries in, the Western, in Western Tamriel have labored over my every cough and fever, but while they could save my life time and time again, they could not improve my sickly constitution. In retrospect, I received little affection from being from the king and queen, embarrassed as they were about begetting such a cripple as their heir to the kingdom. I cannot say I missed I cannot say I missed the love. I received much attention from the doctors, the priests, the herbalists that were constantly at the court. Current, or certainly, I was not to be the sort of warrior that King Cameron was. But one of my dearest friends, a priest of Sindar, or Stendar, I should say, said that I might be the first scholar king in the history of Sentinel. My younger sister, Abuki, was the true favorite of my parents, athletic beautiful and charming. It is hard to think of an uncomplimentary word of word for her. I was going to say about her. 
It's the same difference. I am resigned to my imminent death, and yet I would like to see her once again. For six years, Aboke, Abuki and I were only children, the only chi- Really? You were the only children in Sentinel? Really? Eight years- A long ago. time ago, as uh, Prince Lotun noted, I mean, uh, Lestan was like 10, 15 years older than him. It's just amazing that in the whole- Yeah, I'm sure he only means the city of Sentinel. <laughs> They're like royal children, goddammit. <laughs> I guess. Eight years ago, the Queen and I had a boy child. Oh, not the Queen and I, but the Queen had a boy child and named him Grelith. Greklith. After the ancient Redguard word for strong king. Few speak that tongue any longer. But all the scholars and nobles of Hammerfell understood. And Greklith is a strong boy indeed. I have never so much seen him cough. The queen's next child, born only a year after Greklith, had even more uh, had even an even more ominous birth name, Lotun, second boy. Perhaps I had been less. Perhaps had I been less sheltered, more suspicious by nature, I might have read into these nominations. Lotun and Greklith are common name common enough names in our family. I reasoned. Now I know that even then, I was disinherited. Even if it was not official yet. Jesus Christ, this goes on forever. <laughs> I mean, it's like a death certificate, his uh, final will and testament. Are you glad you looked out for that little slip of parchment? <laughs> well, at least we found something interesting, right? For several months... That's right. It's more fun than a dungeon, right? <laughs> yeah, when you're just looking for a fucking thing laying on the floor. For several months after Lotun's birth, and over three years afterward, I was in the throes of a very serious fever. The doctors despaired of me, but somehow, very, very gradually, I recovered. For the first time in the last, I read the expression of my on my father, the king's face. That was not indifference, it was disgust. That was a fortnight ago, three nights ago, I was seized by men I had never seen while I was having a walk. My nursemaid understood by watching placidly that I was gag and tied and thrown roughly into a sack. I do not know how long they rode with me, but eventually I, I was left here. When I finally freed myself from my bonds, I found that I was alone. My, my wanders have gotten me nowhere. This place is filled with undead creatures. That prevent me from finding any exit. Undead creatures? Are you sure? Maybe they've all gone away. I've seen werewolves and werewolves. Those are close, but they're not exactly zombies or skeletons. Or vampires, for that matter. I, I hope you'll be able to figure out the difference between a living creature and a dead creature, Lethal. Don't insult the dead. Come on. I was going to say. Disparaging <laughs> him. <laughs> I'm disparaging him, poor thing. Let me take a drink of water. Okay. I have... <laughs> oh, let me take a drink of water to celebrate disparaging him. Ha ha. Yep. You suck. <laughs> I have no hope left, but no fear either. I have few a few regrets, perhaps. Perhaps had I uh, studied magic instead of history and science, I could have freed myself from this place. One of my tutors told the story of the story of the Under King, how he had placed his life force in the body of a powerful being and had thus conquered all of Tamriel long, long ago. Had I only the strength of a more powerful body like that. But I did not study magic. I studied history. So I leave this letter, not to revenge myself, but as a historic document. Fantastic. I was gonna say, please tell me I fucking did recall. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> nope, that's why you had full magic points. So, uh, well, I mean, it's not going to be that difficult to fight, figure your way back out. This place is a small dungeon. Yeah, that's true. It could be worse. It could have been that last random one we were in. And I kind of know my way back, I guess. Plus, I know where the exit is, you know? 
I suppose you might have temporarily forgotten the details courtesy of the fact that, you know, you spent like eight minutes reading, but... <laughs> I remember enough. And this place loops back on itself enough that I'll understand, like, I know that is the wrong way. We need to keep going this way. And I think down. Maybe. <laughs> A nice, friendly, compact dungeon brought to you by Daggerfall, because it cares. Oh, yes. Daggerfall cares. Good joke. It doesn't care about you. It doesn't care about your suffer suffering. It relishes it. Follow the dead spiders. You will find the way. Daggerfall out. cares about stringing you along in, in faith. <laughs> okay, which way is it? Uh, that would be to the left. Although it's... Let this be a lesson to you, by the way, again. Fucking make a anchor. I know. Don't depend on Grimoth, especially, you know, it's one o'clock where I am. It's three o'clock where Grimoth is. He, he's he's not putting out as much effort as he did before. He's tired. I understand. I'm tired too. Maybe maybe I would have put forth more effort if I didn't have to record the character creation video. <laughs> you had to record it. He says. Okay, actually, okay, I see. I, I used so much energy on that first shake, you just pissed it away. <laughs> <laughs> pissed it away. I, I kind of like my stuff on the first one, too, so I'm not too happy about it either. Okay. Right. Look, even if it's just like an anchor right outside the dungeon itself, you know. If you notice that you have a full mana bar, it might be because you didn't cast something you were supposed to. I know. I'll learn. It's the only way I'll learn, is to learn. Okay, we're on the right path, though. <laughs> the only way you'll learn is to learn... <laughs> what? <laughs> it's gonna say, it's gonna be hard for me to screw it up here, but... You know, I can do it. <laughs> well, that's never stop you. I still hear her squealing off in the distance. You know what? They can go fuck themselves. And I'm sure they will. They'll make little werebores. As is their birthright. Oh yes, we just follow this and we get out, folks. My god. It definitely makes it feel like a journey when you go through these. I will say that much. It's not one of those piss at <laughs> piss ant new age Bethesda dungeons. This is the wrong path. Where you, when you get to the end of the dungeon, it just has like a little jump off, and then you're out. You know. Uh, of course, with the way the the location of the parchment was, it is that is reasonably far away from the entrance. You know, whenever I found it, I'm like looking at the campfire. I'm like looking back, and there's the exit, and I'm like, you couldn't find that, right? You really should have stopped studying history and learned some fucking peripheral vision. Okay. <laughs> Almost got it. I went to one of the boxes, but it turns out I need to go to the other box. This is the correct box, as you can tell. <laughs> what? What's up, buddy? Is it not the right box? Grandmaf, is it not the right box? You did it! Oh my god! You made it! Okay, folks, I, I hope you had fun. Next time, we're going to turn in this little mission, and then we'll see what happens next. I think this is probably the end of this recording session also. So, so we, 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 we'll have to break the news to Prince Lotun. So, your late father... Uh-oh. Hey! No, no, don't you do that. Bad. We're trying to give an outro here, you asshat. Fucking rude. Well, you know what that means. We got to we gotta go into another dungeon now, Lethal. No, no, we're done. We're done. No, no, Lethal. It's calling for you. Nope. Watch you. I hung up. It was calling for me and I hung up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>